All right guys, so today I'm checking out this new wireless mic. It's uh, called the Godox Cube. And normally I start my videos with the unboxing and go over the specs and features, but we're just gonna go right into the audio that you're gonna get straight from this microphone, which is what you're gonna hear from the beginning. And we'll talk about some of the specs here. I'm gonna ride on my scooter so you hear some wind noise, although it does have wind, wind muffle. We'll see how effective that is. Uh, thing weighs seven grams and yeah, I'll talk about the specs as I'm riding around. Very impressive. This is for uh, smartphones. So I'm recording this on a Samsung S22 Ultra. It's a uh, USB-C device. Although on um, there's another version that comes with a lightning connector if you're an Apple user. So um, on my scooter, I have a, I've got the uh, DJI Action 2. This is a USB microphone, so this will work with the Action 2, Action 3, Action 4, and the Osmo Pocket 3, I believe. So we'll be uh, going around the neighborhood looking for noisy environments, and we'll try out the noise reduction. All right, so I'm going to start off this test in kind of a uh, quieter part of the neighborhood, and we'll see how much of the wind noise is picked up, even though I have a wind muff here. And you'll notice that the microphone is right here under the cap of my hat, connected magnetically. Very tiny, very unnoticeable. Um, you want to do some discrete recording with some good audio. This is the mic wireless microphone to get. Uh, quickly to go over the uh, specs, um, I think it's uh, a few things that are notable. Uh, the frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And that is, I think, better than the DJI Mic 2 in the Rode microphone. Um, Signal noise ratio is 75 dB, and I think anything above like 40, 45 dB is considered pretty good for a wireless microphone. And in line, comparable to the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode wireless mic, I think those two are the ones that are probably the most used out there by content creators. And of course, this is you know the smallest and lightest I think out there, but of course, it's only for smartphones so let's go ahead and get moving here let's see how much of the scooter noise and wind noise is picked up here as i'm riding around um, the noise reduction has been off i will turn it on a, a little bit later i'm going to go into a noisier section of the neighborhood with more cars uh yeah but, you know spec wise this compares very favorably with much more expensive options out there than the, the, the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Mic. I think those are at least double the cost. So this one here for a single mic uh, version is under $50 at, uh, at least at AliExpress there where I checked. Uh, if you get the uh, two mic version you're going to get extras like the carrying case. Um, of course with two mics then it's going to be better for interviews and stuff but if you're uh, on a you know budget content creator then uh, going with the one mic solution is going to be a really good way to go especially if you're like a sort of an on the go um, you know shoot with your smartphone most of the time although right now I'm using the DJI Action 2 I think that um, it does not work, this does not work with any of the GoPros or the Insta360 cameras because those do not, are not compatible with USB um, audio. And I don't know why those should be able to do it and DJI does and for the, <laughs> I don't know why uh, the other action camera companies don't do that. It's kind of universal standard. They should be able to do it, but they would rather sell you more expensive microphone options. So. Go ahead, I'll turn on the noise reduction. There we go. And let me know if you notice any difference here. Got a UPS truck going by. Heading into section here with a lot more cars. I'm gonna go over to the main, the big main street over here with a lot of cars here in a second. I suspect the noise reduction turned on also reduces wind noise being picked up by the microphone, although the wind muff is probably doing a pretty good job. Let me know if you guys notice any, any difference. You know, the audio 
quality is going to be a little bit different with noise reduction turned on, uh, just because it is trying to cut out some of the background noise. And here we are. I am running along the street here. A lot of uh, cars going by, as you can hear that. And then I'll turn around and we'll do a test with a noise reduction turned off. And I suspect it's going to be quite a bit noisier. All right, this is noise reduction turned off. And it's probably quite a bit louder. I'm going to wait for more of these cars to come by. All right, here's a bunch of cars going by. You see that going behind me. Noise reduction is turned off. So you should be able to hear that quite a bit more compared to when noise reduction is turned on. All right, go ahead and turn the noise reduction back on. Yeah, so I think the audio quality of this microphone is really good. And I think it compares favorably with the DJI Mic 2 and Rode. Based on what I've heard from other content creators, I haven't, well, I haven't gotten around to getting the DJI Mic 2 or the Rode my wireless microphone. I don't know. Um, just don't feel the need to. I think this is uh, this microphone is good enough for my needs. Uh, but if you want to see a comparison, uh, let me know. Maybe one of you has the DJI Mic 2 or the Rode mic and we could do uh, another video comparing these. Let me know down in the comments. But uh, I have seen a couple of the videos and the audio from this microphone is pretty, pretty solid, I think, especially for the cost. Very close to uh, the, the audio quality. Uh, the other mics that are double the price. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you the unboxing and show you how small and tiny this thing is. And when you go to the link, there's going to be some different options to choose from. You can get one with a lightning connector for you iPhone users. Uh, there's the single mic version and there's the dual mic version. When you get the dual mic version, uh, you'll get a charging case with it. Of course, it does cost a bit more. That's without saying but it's still gonna be way less than the other options out there that are sometimes uh, as much as double the price. So take a look at what you got and let me know what you see at the end of the video. Talk to you guys in the next one. All right, we got another uh, wireless lavalier mic here from Godox. This is, uh, I guess, a part of their new next generation of wireless microphones, uh, the Cube SE. And uh, you see these little two microphones here. This one comes with the USB-C adapter, obviously for Android phones. Uh, if you need um, uh, one for your Apple phone, they, have to, they do have a version with a lightning connector. So check the link in the description. I'll have uh, both the versions down there, but that's kind of what it looks like. Just kind of look around the box here. I'm calling this the Kit 2. 300 meters of range, which is actually an improvement over their last generation. It's the same uh, 48 kilohertz, 24-bit audio. Right, let's go ahead and open it up. And here's the manual itself. Nice documentation, as always. Then it comes in Chinese and let's see, where's the English version? Here's the English version here. Got some stickers here. I think this is sort of the personalize your microphone. You can see about, about the size of my thumb there. Pretty small. Got a quick start guide, so you got your transmitters, or you know the very tiny transmitters. I kind of like that. And you got your receiver there for your phone. And here's the case that the system comes in. So pretty similar to their other microphones. And so we got some cables here. Uh, USB-C cable, for, probably for charging. Got a Looks like a like a neck lanyard, and looks like these are there are two of them for each transmitter. Because these are going to be magnetic, so got that part. And we got your case here inside. You got a couple of wind muffs here, wind screens, a little pin tool there, and you got a couple of clips here. These are magnetic, so this is going to if you want to use the transmitter on something you want to clip to instead of using the included magnet you can do that and in here 
And this is what the case looks like. And this is where everything is stored. And I'm wondering if it charges inside here. Yeah, it looks like it's a charging case. You got USB-C there. Kind of snaps into place. And so you got full charge. And so it just kind of snaps into place like that. That turns it off. It turns it on and it opens it up. A little drawer, pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and get this plastic off of here. All right, so now we got a good look at it. So yeah, this is the actual colors, kind of a space gray. Yeah, I really like this. this is really small for a wireless microphone system. I kind of like it. Looks like you got a little thing here for like a like a holder you can stick in here. And again, you just pop that open. This is held in magnetically. Uh, so it looks like this uh, receiver is doesn't have a battery in it. it has a USB-C pass-through, so you can charge your phone. But um, just ho holds it, you know, it's held in place here with a magnet. And then you got your two transmitters here that do have battery charging. There you see the little pins there. And here's the pins on the bottom. And it's like obviously for shipping, they have these little pieces of tape on here. I want to remove that. And you got your little magnets here. Pretty nice. You got a little bit of protection tape here. You can pull that off. Don't need that. So I like the size of these things. They're really tiny. You're going to lose these things. It could be nice to have that some spares of these. But basically, you, you stick this on your shirt, you know, and then probably on the inside of the outside, and then this, is, this goes on the other side of the shirt, and then just will hold in place. And it's really light. Some of the, you know, early generation wireless uh, microphones out there were much larger and heavier, and so it would just pull on your shirt. It just would look bad in a lot of cases. This is very light and discreet. Um, let's see here. And we can just stick them back in here like so, and we can see now they're charging. And we'll close this up here. So yeah, on the transmitter, just one single button there. It's the power button and also the um, noise reduction button. So we'll be testing that out, of course. And you know, you got these lines here. Might you might think the microphone is here in the front, but it's actually here on top. And so. The wind muff is like kind of like a sleeve. So you're going to, let's see here, it looks like the, yeah, there's the little thing for the button it looks like. Yeah, so there's a little space there for the button. I kind of feel that, so that's where you're gonna want to put that. So I'm gonna sort of wrap it around like so. There you go. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, so obviously if you're in windy conditions, you're going to uh, utilize this to cut down wind noise. It's pretty big uh, for a wind muff, I mean, compared to some other ones before, like a little tiny transmitter. And uh, unfortunately, you can't put this in the case. You have to take this off. So, it would have been nice if they had a larger plastic case where you could have had the, the wind muff on there and um, but this is what they went so they went with this they go with this uh, smaller case here like this charging case and then you got the larger case to store all the ad additional accessories and let's just see how this looks with the little clip on instead okay so yeah that holds on very nicely So if you want to uh, clip this onto like someone's shirt, for example, you can do that and then attach the transmitter microphone to the clip. So that's what these are for, pretty nice. So I was wondering what this little pin was for. It is for, I guess, this little hole here. And I guess you can uh, pair this up with your Apple iPhone and use the uh, Find My feature. So. Uh, to sort of track this down if you, because this is kind of small, I might lose it or might get stolen. And uh, you can pair this up with your Apple phone and then track it down that way. It keeps track of it. It's kind of nice. 
Um, not sure how useful that feature is. You know, you could probably put this in your luggage, for example, and track your luggage that way if you don't want to get one of those little tags. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it works with Android unless you have an iPhone to set it up. Um, so uh, for those of you that have Apple, and that is a nice feature of this one. So. All right, so I forgot to do a range test, so I'm gonna do a quick range test here. And I'm gonna go all the way down the street. 300 meters is the, I don't know, the advertised range, 1,000 feet. But I'm gonna stick this in the back of the scooter so it doesn't have, lose line of sight, and then I'll turn around and hopefully uh, we don't lose connection. Alright, so that should be a pretty realistic test. There's a lot of homes here with a lot of Wi-Fi, so um, yeah, I'm obviously disconnected probably before the 300 meters, but um, I think it still works pretty good in this sort of real, real world scenario. Alright, so just to uh, close up this video here, I want to show you the app, and I am recording this on uh, this system here. I have a, a voice recorder app in the background, so you're hearing the audio, this last portion of the video, uh, from this mic in sort of a quiet environment. I'm not using the onboard uh, camera microphone that I normally use, so it may sound a little bit different. Let me know if you notice any differences. Uh, this is recording in the background, but just to quickly show you the app, you can make some adjustments from default settings if you want. I find that the gain is pretty good on default settings for smartphones. On the Action 2, I noticed that when I was uh, kind of yelling a little bit or raised my voice when I was uh, dry, uh, riding my scooter by those by the traffic, it um, it sounded like I was a little bit clipping a little, uh, just a tiny bit. Uh, just I, I was kind of yelling because I, I couldn't even hear myself speak because it was pretty loud. Those cars were going right by me. Um, so you could make some adjustments to the gain here. That's what the little plus and minus is here for this number. And the little, um, uh, like a, gain a monitor here that you can turn on right now it's off because i'm recording through another app but you can also uh, adjust the denoise level as well so you have denoise here is close weak and strong and then there's also an amplifier function that is uh, available to you. you can turn that on or off um, so you have to you can kind of experiment i find the default settings for at least my smartphone were pretty good didn't have to really do much for the audio i just used it um, but if you find it's a little bit too loud or not quite loud enough, you can make those adjustments in this app. So that's going to close it out for this video. I, uh, I'm i not sure if I told you earlier in the video or not, but I used this microphone quite a bit already in, here and there in, in various videos. Obviously ones where I'm using my smartphone. Uh, I did use it a couple times with the Action 2, and again, it doesn't work with any GoPros or Insta360 cameras, which is really unfortunate because this is such a nice, small microphone uh, system to use, and you can just pretty much use it everywhere. And the other thing that I wish they would have had, maybe it would make this bigger, is to have onboard recording or storage so that the audio file is stored on here and you can take it off later. Uh, some of my other microphones have that. I think the DJI Mic 2 has that as well as the Rode Mic. That's a probably a feature is going to make this bigger and heavier, but you know, it would have been nice to have had something like that um, or some way to do a backup recording file somewhere here. But yeah, it, it does work with uh, various voice recording apps, your default uh, video recording app on the phone. Uh, other camera apps will work as well, I'm sure. Uh, I haven't found anything that it wouldn't allow it to work because it's basically standard USB-C audio. So 
uh, yeah, overall, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What do you think of the audio quality? I thought it was pretty good, and I do like the the way the overall system is and the way it functions. And of course, on this app, you can make some adjustments here to your liking. I, I thought that was pretty nice to be able to customize the default settings in the mic. That's going to do for this video. Link down in the video description if you guys want to check this product out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.